Sagittarius, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. He's amazing. He is just such a fantastic business being. Seriously, if you have business questions, Sagittarius, go and see him. He's incredible. Make sure to give him a lot of background detail for a more clear uh, reading. Let's get right into this. Oh, his information will be down below. Your overall energy is the Six of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles, which is the universe validating that you are exactly where you need to be. And the energy and the inspiration that will come from knowing where you are is making sure that your focus is not anticipating the future or worried repeating past memories. This will influence the decision-making of today influencing your journey, influencing your path. I feel like right now there is a lot of uh, uh, internal un awareness, internal um, aha moments, internal realizations of what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and where you want your life to go. This is huge. We must know what we want in order to be guided there because as the law of attraction states, if we don't know what we want, the universe cannot give us what we want because the universe will mirror back exactly what it is we want. And I feel like right now is a really good time for you to decode and decipher what you want. It doesn't matter what you want. If you want to be an astronaut, you go be an astronaut astronaut Sagittarius you just got to place your awareness in the fact that I want to be an astronaut I want to see the stars I want to be on the moon I want to rub in myself in moon dust I want to be out there I want to be in the universe I want to do it right then you do it and then what comes next universe will guide you into it all right well you got to go make sure that you have all the credentials and schooling and whatever it is that you've got to go and do you know and and that's it, but it's one step at a time. And when you know what you want, I wanna help people. I want to um, share my experience of my traumas and help people from the, from the pain that I've felt. Okay, perfect. You got, again, you gotta know what you want to be guided into it. It's like, and it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta come from a place of letting go. You can't hold on to any type of attachment or belief. And that's why it's so important, Sagittarius. Hold on, I have feel something coming here. I just want to get this out before I move forward with this because I have a feeling that it's all going to align here. Sagittarius for you. That's the one. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, when we are in this matrix, very, very easy for us to become very stimulated and attached to particular beliefs or particular information that we have picked up, right? And so we will um, absorb information from opinions of others. We will absorb information from the internet, uh, from social media, uh, from, um, you know, uh, every source possible. And then on top of that, we repeat memories from the past. And then on top of that, we're worried about the future. We have all of this going on, which completely disconnects us from our today, from the power of our now. And we truly, uh, most of us, live our lives from memories that we're repeating, thus making us very mechanical, repeating behaviors, repeating beha um, um, patterns of thought, repeating old beliefs that don't serve us, but we, they're in our energetic field and we're used to doing them, they're habits. And when we can start to understand that anything that we repeat on a, on a constant basis removes us from the authenticity of our soul's knowing because our soul's knowing comes through when we simply allow the divine guidance to flow through us. We will have an innate decision-making ability of when a choice is offered to us, we will have that inner knowing. But if we're so conditioned to going to uh, our heads, which will then bring us to either past beliefs or memories or experiences or anticipating what we want, then we will make a decision that will be a frantic decision of, well, this happened, so I know this to be true, which will keep us in the past, or an anticipated decision of the future, which will make leave us making a decision that might be forced or might be efforted or might not be the right choice that's going to get us there, path of least resistance. The path of least resistance will always unfold when we are present in our now 
prioritizing what makes sense to us. It's the number one thing. It's the only truth is what makes sense to us. And anytime that we are holding onto an attachment, anytime we are holding onto what we, what we, what we think we know to be true, right? And we always know what it is because we have like a defensive mechanism around it. No, I know this. No, th this is what I've been doing my whole life. I can't give up now. You know what I mean? Then we know it's a belief. And I'll tell you something. Most of our thoughts are beliefs. Most of our energy is beliefs. However, these beliefs keep our energy blocked and it does not allow us to have the desire of life that we want, right? That's the, the stipulation, Sag, is that in order for us to receive all of the abundance that's rightfully ours, whatever that may be in your world, it has to come from a place of internal knowing, internal confidence, no seeking, no searching, clear energy. And that comes when we are practicing our daily meditation because it keeps us mindful right? And when we are mindful and present in the now, then we know what we want. And we are able to stand our ground with what we believe in. We are able to um, not give in to others' opinions or others' influences. Very, very important here because you are being called to go and um, become a version of yourself that is going to require your utmost attention. Not one that's influenced, but one where you're going to be able to create your environment being the best version of yourself. Not allowing your limiting beliefs to interfere with the successes that you are that are here for you and they're all here for you don't ever deny yourself that okay Sagittarius everything you want is is not flowing just because of a resisted energy it's not because you don't deserve it or you're not worthy or think anything you've done no 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 it doesn't work like that it's just because of resisted energy and it's always because of a limiting belief of a fear in there somewhere a fear projection fear comes in when we remind our when we're too attached to an outcome. I really want my soulmate. Where are they? I feel them. They're not coming. What could I, what could I do? Where are they? Hmm. Maybe I'll look on this website. Maybe I'll go over here and we're forcing it. We're efforting it, right? What's my purpose? What's my path? Maybe this is it. Maybe that is it. Maybe I could learn this. Maybe I could learn that. It's all forced. It's all attachment. And that attachment will leave us feeling fearful because at the same time of us wanting something, we're also reminding ourselves we don't have it. And that feels terrifying because we're like, we want it, but we don't have it. Oh my God. And really, we just have to be mindful and understand that at that very moment, we are too busy anticipating the future and at the same time reminding ourselves that we don't have it, which makes us go back to the past memories of feeling unworthy. So it's just a complete disbursement of energy. So we've got to be in the present moment, living ourselves, living lives very mindfully. And what you can even do is have a mindful day. This is what I've been trying to do myself is I'll have to, by the way, put post-its everywhere because, you know, when you're learning something new, you want to set yourself up for success. So I like to use post-its. And what I will do is remind myself to be mindful in every action that I do of that day. So if it's dishes, I'm being mindful about washing dishes. I'm not being mindful. I'm not thinking about other things. I'm just in the present moment, washing the dishes peacefully. When I am outside in nature, I am being present of the nature. I'm seeing the trees. I am seeing the sky. I'm looking at the ground, seeing the, 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 the leaves or the snow or whatever's around you at this time. But I am present in the moment and being mindful of it. These mindful days helps us practice this. So it becomes a learned practice. So we're not then practicing being in the past or the future. We're practicing being mindful in our present moment. And when this happens, we are then coming from more of a place of love and understanding and confidence that this is not our journey to to, to, to figure out. This is a journey that we are being guided into and it comes from the love in our heart, but we don't have love in our heart when we're too busy worrying and thinking and trying to force something because we're just anxious and fearful. So always know that everything that you desire flows into your life. It's not, um, if you don't have the money that you're looking for, the only reason you don't have it is because you're focused on the fact of not having it, right? Everything is a vibration and whatever we shoot off, it's going to bounce back in the same way we're saying it, which means that if we're looking in our bank account every day and saying, I can't afford this. I don't have enough money. I'm broke. This is too expensive. I have to pay my bills and, and can't. All of this shoots that off and the universe mirrors that back. So you can imagine, right? 
So instead, you want to expect the best, and instead you say, money is my best friend. Universe is aligning me with all of my desires. Money flows to me in multiple revenues. I love money. Money is so kind to me. Money flows to me endlessly, right? You want to say what you want. You want to set the intention of what you want. The same thing with love. Love flows into my life. I have the most beautiful, loving partner. They are already here for me. They're already here, and they are. They love me, and I love them, and we're a relationship that grow. we grow together. We have businesses together. We flourish together. We go for walks and hikes and, and dogs and cats, and it's beautiful. We have it all together. And then you simply sit back and trust the process and don't go into a fearful, when are they going to come? When is it going to be possible? What do I do? You don't, you don't fall, fall into the category of recognizing you're now, you don't, you don't repeat what's happening. You repeat what you want. You think about what you want. And then in the meantime, you flow into your heart and think, how is it? What would, is it? what is it that would make me happy in this moment? What is it that would bring me satisfaction in this moment? You focus on your satisfaction and recognize that that feeling of satisfaction will then attract in the desire that you are looking to achieve. All right, Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit absolutely loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby. And happy, happy birthday. All right, bye.